Well, how you doing, everybody? Uh, I'm Jamie Glazer, and here's my Gelvin JG 2.0. I love this guitar, as you all know by now. And what I'm going to do today is show you uh, some techniques to use uh, scales, um, but in a different way than you may have thought of before. Um, scales are not just a bunch of notes stuck together to practice to get fast, although it doesn't hurt. Uh, we use it for a lot of different musical applications, and I'm going to show you uh, one simple way to get through it today. Uh, for the moment, though, I've got to finish making these tracks, so all I'm uh, I'm going to go back to uh, Sonar and put on a, another guitar part. Okay, this time I'm going to add a layer. We talked about it in another lesson. Uh, I'm going to add a cleaner guitar, knowing that the song or the the little thing I put together is A minor, F, C, and G, and then there's an F chord and a G chord. So I'm going to basically play some triads, kind of arpeggiated. Um, I haven't practiced anything or composed anything, so here we go. Okay, so now let's put down a little bass part uh, to complement what I did so far. Okay, everybody, so what is this lesson about, you wonder? Uh, you heard me play the chords A minor, F, C, and G, right? And then an F and a G. Um, most people would do either a blue scale or maybe an A minor pentatonic scale, and in a lot of situations that would be appropriate. But um, I like to think out of the box, I like to play out of the box, and uh, music has been evolving quite a bit. People don't do just that simple stuff uh, all the time anymore. So what I want to show you here is something pretty cool. If you look on your screen here, you'll see that I've already use this new program Notion which is amazing is a wonderful program I'll do another video about Notion shortly um, but over here is a, a fretboard and I just press the buttons and it wrote out the music so here I have these notes A B C D E F G A the alphabet right and what that is is a A natural minor scale some people call that A aeolian <laughs> or written the way it is here in tab. That's actually what's written there. There's two A's there. All right. Now what I want to show you is if you take the first note, right, and skip over one note, so that's an A note, skip a note that's a C note, just use your alphabet, skip another note. If you look at the music here, you can see that, right? Um, skip another note and take the three notes the first note the third note and the fifth note and stack them up it becomes the chord you see on the right here you see where my pointer is so actually taking from this octave here so I went A C and E right can't get it my mouse is going crazy then you come up with this chord right here right what should I have to play Okay. Now the next chord, I do the same thing. I'll start on the second one, B, and I skip over a note. I go to D and I F and I stack those. There it is. So that chord becomes that. All right. And if I go to the next note, C, E, and G, it's that stacks up into this note, these chords, this chord. Right. So let me play that for you. Okay, one more time. I want to I want to show you what these chords sound like using this technique. Okay? So 
What we did, let me go over that again. We figured out this scale, which was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. It's actually an A natural minor scale. Some people call it Aeolian, which if you talk about modally, it's also the uh, relative minor to the key of C, for those of you who know some of this theory. And then I took a very simple thing. I just took this first note, skipped over a note, that note, and then skipped over a note, and then I stacked them. And I did that in each case. So, like, so I started A, C, and E. Then I went to this note, and I did a skip over, and I did that, and I did that, and then I made that stack. Anyway, and then you come up with these chords. Okay, so what's the big deal, you wonder? By the way, you see this word here called diatonic. What that means there is very simple. The chords that come naturally from the scale. And that's exactly what these are. Here was your scale, and here were the chords that belong to this, these notes. And vice versa, by the way. These notes belong to these chords. And that's where we get to in this little lesson. Um, the thing that I just recorded a second ago has the chords A minor, F, C, and G, right? And, uh, and the chords that are right here is A minor, B, minor 7, flat 5, C, or B diminished rather, C, D minor, E minor, F, G, and A minor, right? A, A minor, B diminished, C, D minor, E minor, F, G, and A minor. Same chord, so if I did A, F, G, C, everything fits, you see? Okay, everybody, so what we're going to do right now is just uh, do a guitar solo just using the scale. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to play A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's an A, Aeolian scale, A natural minor scale. All right, and here we go. Okay, so that's just using the scale. Now, what I'm going to do is play the chords that are that you saw earlier. The A minor, B diminished. C, D minor, all the chords that came from the scale. So, okay, then the next one is, next one, next one, next one, next one. So, that's A minor, B diminished, C, D minor, E minor, F, G. Okay, so instead of playing like everybody that you've uh, seen in a music store going for the 4,000th millionth time, now we're going to do something a little bit more interesting. So let, let's hear that. What I did there was basically take the chords, right? And what I did was I take the bottom note and the top note. And the bottom note, top note, get a little skip. You could do it up and down, you know? And then you can mix in the scale, so. So let me show you it mixed. Here we go.
Okay, so as an example of the scale mixed with the triads. So. All I'm doing is skipping around. There's nothing here that's crazy theoretically or uh, whatever. Now, I'm not a lick player, so I can't show you the lick slow like you see on some videos where they go, okay, now try the lick. It goes I can't do that because I, I don't play that way. I just create, improvise. I'm, I improvise. So uh, I use techniques to come up with sounds, and I use the sounds. So in, in my head, I'm thinking... So if I think that, right, I'm just making that up, you know, two. Scale. Triad. Sweet. Using triads, you can use all the tools that you see people using, like sweeping, you know, where they're going. Right? So if I want to just sweep these chords, it still gives you that effect. Another thing you can do is use uh, the triads, like, right, in, in different sequences by the, repeating those, like, watch. How about A minor and G? F. Now, of course, the most important thing is, that, uh, for, for me anyway, is to play melodies, notes that the people can sing at, in parts to relate to, to what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to play a melody followed by a scale, followed by a triad, and you'll see how this works. Scale. Now it blues. So, what we've talked about today is just a a little bit of how I approach music, almost all styles actually. Uh, this is using all the chords that we had originally, A minor, F, C, and G, and then we figured out the scale, which was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and then we took those notes, we skipped over one note, A, C, E, B, D, F, C, E, G, as I showed you, and then we mix that with the scale to get incredibly new and fresh sounds. Well, thanks everybody for spending some time with me and I hope that some of this inspired you. Uh, uh, please check out the Gelvin Guitar site, gelvinguitars.com. Also visit me on Facebook or my website. And uh, yeah, check out this Gelvin JG 2.0. Um, I love this instrument, my best friend. All right, see you all soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.